All right, we are back. My name is Todd from Co2 Cards, and we've been away for a little bit dealing with tins. We've had a little snafu in our tins. Some of our tins have not arrived as they were supposed to, so we're short about 15 cases of tins. We did sort it out with the company. They are on their way. So if you put an order in with Co2 cards and the tracking is not moving on that order, that's the reason we're still waiting on 15 cases of tins. Soon as they come, we're gonna break those open, get those orders out. We're gonna get them out as fast as we can to you. My apologies for that. We've not really had anything like this happen with Co2 cards. This is our first kind of delay in transit. So um, we're, we've been able to sort through it. They should be here very soon and we're gonna break them open, get your orders out to you. So keep that in mind. Uh, we do have the giveaway for the two Dark Magicians. I do need to point out that each of these cards has a little white spot on the side of the card. I'm not particularly happy with the condition they came in, but these are the cards that we ordered for the giveaway. So uh, we're going to be giving these two cards away. They're still in very nice condition, just uh, not... Uh, not, let me put it to you this way. I would not have sold these as as new. But the Speed Dolls do, as much as I like the foiling on them, they do get dinged rather easily. And I don't know why. Has to do with the foiling in some sense. But the winners for those, uh, the first winner is Crimson Omega. You got the Dark Magician. Um, and then the second winner is Sam Clark. 2954 you got the second dark magician i'm gonna get these out to you all you got to do is send me your address to co2 cards 10 at gmail.com remember to include a screenshot of your youtube channel page um that just helps me know that it's you I've had a couple of little shadiness going on. So I just want to make sure we get these out to the right people. Uh, it's just the right thing to do. So um, we do have a giveaway on this video. I'll reveal the giveaway uh, when we get into the cards. But if you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. We would love for you to be subscribed to the channel. We're going to talk about seven cards that you should be looking at from the tins because they're really cheap and they're great cards. So we're gonna be we're gonna jump right into that as well as reveal the giveaway on this uh, on this video. So I'm gonna bring you over to TCG. We're gonna pop these cards right up and go from there. All right, here we are. The first card that I think you should be looking at is the zombie vampire. Look, we all know what's wrong with the tins. There's no chase cards in the tins. The most expensive card I think right now is hovering around $12, something like that. That is not good. The reason that there's no chase cards in here if you go back and you look at them uh, when we got dragoon that was a new card to the tcg people didn't have it before so that was a chase card you look at cards like forbidden droplet pot of prosperity triple tactics in last year's tin those were chase cards because they were three of Spell and Trap staples, and that made them chase cards. You go back the year before last year, you're looking at Triple Tactics, uh, or no, you're looking at Cross Out Designator. Same thing, it was a new card, and it was supposed to be a meta-changing card. Didn't really pan out, although it's seeing some play right now. But still, those are the types of cards that really 
make the 10 something that you want to go all in and get. There's nothing like that in here. But what there is in this tin is there are a lot of extra deck staple cards that are very nice that I think you should be looking at and grabbing. Uh, and the first one is the Zombie Vampire. Look, this card is 50 cents and you only need one of it. So we're talking about a 50 cent investment. You only need one of this card. It's a great card to get. It's it's generic. Uh, it's it's a really nice, uh, easy to get out card. Um, so I think this is a great card that you should be looking at. The second card I think you should be looking at is um, Psychic and Punisher. Again, this is very cheap for what it is. Uh, I know that that uh, punk plays this i know that the um gold pride punk plays this there are a lot of decks that can play this card it's a very hard to get out to get this card out once it's on the field so this is a great card for a dollar 28 you can get both of those cards i just shared with you for less than two dollars that's a really good investment um you can see here the original is still holding uh, 10 plus. So um, getting this card at $1.28 is a great deal. Uh, the Muckracker, this is a card if you play um, Dark World, this is definitely a card you need. Uh, works really well in Fiend decks. So this is, this is something that if you play a Fiend deck, you might want to have this card. It's a little more expensive. It has started going up. You can see the hook on it. It's gone all the way down. Now it's starting to go back up. And that's what I'm saying with the the Zombie Vampire and Psychic End Punisher. Grab those cards before you see this hook. You don't want to see this hook. So the hook is already on the muck racker. It's already started going back up, but it's still less than 250. I think it's a great buy. I would be considering that card. Um, moving over, you got the World Sea um, Dragons Atlantis. Again, this is, you know, I'm talking about this card because it's 25 cents. But if you play a water deck, um, I, I think it's pretty generic just, just in general, but if you play a water deck, I think it's even better. This is a very nice card, uh, that can see some play for a quarter. This is, this is definitely worth a quarter. Um, so you're, you're down here. Well, it's not a quarter anymore. You're looking at like 30 some cents. Um, but still a great card to look at and to target. And then one of my favorite cards in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! is uh, Scareclaw Tryhard. I absolutely love this card. I play this card in most decks as an emergency. It's kind of like... Um, Babuska, uh, where, you know, if you can't do anything else, you can just bring that card out and hope that it buys you some time. Scareclaw Tryhard can buy you some time. It's very generic. All you need is three effect monsters to make this card, and uh, it is a very difficult out. And again, you're looking at such a low price on this card less than 40 cents it's definitely worth a buy just to have this card you never know when you're going to need it the last two cards that i want to look at um are spell and traps but before i get into that this is the giveaway right here uh i'm selling these on ebay but they are the um essentially the there's one card missing out of here um so let me make sure that I can grab that card. Um, they are the what I consider to be the extra deck staples in here. All of them. I made a little set. And so in this set, you're going to get one Muckracker. You're going to get one Psychic End Punisher. One Zombie Vampire. One Pit Knight. One World Sea Dragon. And one Dark um, the Dark Charmer. Um, I think, you know, this is a great little set to have. Um, so we're going to be giving away two of these. 
So two people are going to get um, this little set. You get the whole set. We're giving away the whole set. So, um, because I think that these extra deck staples are really, really important. In future giveaways, we're going to be giving away a lot of these quarter century rares. These are the ones that I have not sold yet and that we haven't got yet. We still have like 130, 140 coming. So we're going to have a ton of these to give away. Um, but uh, that's for a future video. The last two cards I want to look at is uh, the Destructive Daruma Cannon. Uh, this is a great card. It has started going back up, I believe. It's about $3.00. Um, oh yeah, oh yeah, this card's shooting back up. Um, yeah, you're, you're looking at about $4 for this card. If you've got the money, it's a great card. I know that the card is played in trap decks, so, um, you know, if you play a trap deck, you, you, you're... You might need this. Uh, I think it's played in Unchained. That's why it's shooting up. I think it's also can be played in Labyrinth. I don't think it's played in Trap Trick. But this is a very good card. And for $4, it's not a bad buy. It's not as good as it was at one time. Now, the last card that I think you should be looking at is Spellbound. And I told you to buy the Secrets because I thought the Ultras were going to be ugly. They're not. The Ultras are really nice. This might just be a card that just looks good, period. Uh, I don't know if it would look good in common, but this card looks really nice in Ultra. I am actually going to, I have the secrets. I'm actually going to keep the Ultras too because it looks so nice. You're talking 50 cents a copy, something like that. Let me click on it, make sure. Um, that might be for unverified. Um, Oh, the card is going back up. Yep, the card went down and it is going back up. It's about 80 cents a copy. Now, what you're going to see on these 10 cards is they have nowhere to go but up. So you're going to see a lot of cards starting to get bought out and shooting up. Um, so some of these cards, like the Muckracker, the Destructive Daruma Cannon, um, the... Um, spellbound. These cards are already starting to go up. They haven't hit their ceiling though, so they're still not a bad buy, but they've already started going up. And that's why I'm really high on cards like Dark. Um, this card is super cheap. You should be getting that. Uh, the Zombie Vampire Psychic End Punisher. These cards are way too cheap. Um, it's not going to take much for them to get bought out. And when they do, they're going to start shooting up. So now's a pretty decent time to start going in and grabbing these cards. I'm sorry we couldn't do this video a little bit earlier. I could have caught some of these cards earlier. Um, I was dealing with our cases getting lost and really just... Um, wiping away my tears uh, because we've not had anything like this happen at Code 2 Cards. I didn't know how the Yu-Gi-Oh! community was going to respond to a delay. They've been wonderful so far, um, but we were distraught <laughs> to say the least and really just trying to figure out how to fix this. Um, so again, we did get it fixed. We're up and rolling now. We're going to get our cases very soon and we're going to get these, card these orders out as quickly as possible. Those are some cards that I think you should be targeting. Keep in mind the giveaway. All you got to do is be subscribed to the channel and leave a comment. All right, my name is Todd from Co2 Cards and I am out of here.